Assalamualaikum and good evening. Today, my team and I will talk about the coffee maker. For hundreds of years, making a cup of coffee was a simple process. Roasted and ground coffee beans were placed in a pot or pan, to which hot water was added, followed by attachment of a lid to commence the infusion process. In France, in about 1710, the infusion brewing process was introduced. This involved submersing and ground coffee, usually enclosed in a linen bag, in hot water and letting it steep or infuse until the desired strength brew was achieved. There were lots of innovation from France in the late 18th century with help from Jean Baptiste de Beloy, the Archbishop of Paris, the idea that coffee should not be bought against acceptance. The first modern method for making coffee using a coffee filter, drip brewing, is more than 1,125 years old and its design had changed little. The beacon originating in France in 1,780 was a two-level pot holding coffee in a closed shop in an upper compartment into which water was poured. To drain through holes in the bottom of the compartment into the coffee pot below. Coffee was then dispensed from a spot on the side of the pot. The quality of the brewed coffee depended on the size of the grounds. After my friends explain about her part, uh, my part is a uh, function and the part of coffee maker. The function of the coffee maker is a co cooking appliance uh, used to make the coffee. Uh, the component of the coffee maker it has a reservoir, one way valve, tubing, wire, coffee filter, coffee tank, heating element, sensor, aluminium, and plate. Reservoir is to store the cold water. The one-way valve is to prevent the bubble from going up to the reservoir, while tube is to flow the water from the reservoir to the heating elements. Wire is to produce electricity. Sensor and aluminium is the components under the plate. Sensor is to set the ideal temperature to boil the water. Aluminium is to be heated by the electricity, while the plate is to be heated by the aluminium and to keep the coffee warm. Coffee filter is to store the coffee beans. And the last one, coffee tank, is to store the coffee. Thank you. After my friends explain everything, now I will explain about how coffee maker works. First, we will need to fill up the reservoir and coffee filter. Then, we start the coffee machine and the wire will produce electricity and which produce heat. That will heat the aluminium and the plate. The sensor will set the temperature between 91 and 96 Celsius. When the water start to boil and coil up in the tube, one side of the tube will prevent the bubble to go out to the reservoir. The boiling water will go, go through the coffee filter. The coffee filter will produce coffee to the coffee reservoir and now you have the coffee. Okay, uh, I will speak about the thermodynamics of coffee. Okay, when we start the coffee machine, the, the electricity will produce heat to the blade, which, which we, uh, will heat up the water and it will, it will start to boil. So it will change from the compressed liquid phase to the saturated uh, mixture liquid uh, vapor phase. Okay, after this, we will have a coffee. Okay, uh, after this, let's compare two cups of coffee, okay? The, this coffee is at a temperature of 45 Celsius, and this coffee at the temperature of 35 Celsius, okay? If we thought of this, both of the coffees, of course, will lose heat, okay? The amount of uh, heat loss from this cup will be around 16 joule per second, okay? But for this cup, it will be only 8 joule per second. The reason for this uh, is to make it like an equilibrium, 
Okay, so we can't just say that this car will lose 16 joule per second because it will take very short time to be cold. Finally, one of the advantages of a uh, coffee maker that it's easy to use and it gives you the ideal temperature for the coffee that you want and save your time. Uh, thank you. At the end of this video, I would like to thank my team for helping me uh, doing this project. Uh, I hope you like this video and you enjoy it. Uh, thank you for watching it and have a good day.